Hello, I have some worms on the way, so I'm going to make a vermiculture worm bed. And uh, I've been thinking about doing this for a long time, but then our washing machine went bad. The little support on the back of this stainless steel tub went bad, and I had to order the whole stainless steel tub. And I thought, wow, that looks like a great place to raise worms, because it has all those nice holes in it for um, letting the water out. And I thought I will just bury it in the ground and then put the things worms like to eat inside there. And I don't think they'll leave if I keep them with a good supply of food. So we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to put a lot of gravel underneath it because I am worried about the drainage because I have heavy clay soils here in North Carolina. So, and I... I already put some stuff in there. My worms are coming. They're getting shipped out on Monday from Pennsylvania. But um, I put some things in there that worms like to eat already. Like I did the leaves from bagging the lawnmower last weekend. And then I have scraps from us when we juice. Which I think is going to be what the worms like the most. Because it's nice and ground up fine. And then uh, I'm also going to put some peat moss in with it too. So, let me get started digging a hole, and I'll show you how it goes as we go. Okay, so here I am later. I actually put some gravel down in the bottom to drain the um, water away from the worms. And I wrapped the tub with plastic to keep the mud from coming in, because as you can see, my soil is very red clay. Um, that's probably construction fill dirt from my neighborhood. And I don't have very much topsoil in my garden yet, which is what these worms are going to help me with. Putting some good topsoil back on my garden. So I'm going to put the uh, tub back in there and backfill it with the uh, clay. And I'm going to be getting my worms this week. And Hopefully they'll like their new home. Okay, there it is in place. Tried to keep that lip pretty much even with the soil. And then I'm going to backfill it. Here, take a video of us. Grandpa <laughs> got his worms for his garden today. Ew, I want a one. Yep, from, let's see. Ew, I want Uncle one. Jim's Worm Farm. That's what gave Michelle the hint that, that there's worms, worms in there. Worm. <laughs> Let's see the bag. Uncle Jim's worm farm. What do you need worms for, Grandpa? To compost our garbage and make compost for the garden. I like those. You like them? I like them? those. I like those worms. They're alive. Yay. I love one. You want to grab one? Uh -huh. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Can I grab one? Yeah. Can I feed one to my angel fish? Sure. There's supposed to be 2,000 in there. Baba, all the worms you ever wanted, right in one bag. <laughs> what do you think? It says I'm supposed to put a half inch of water in here right away to rehydrate them. You better rehydrate them. I got two. <laughs> I got two that's so excited. Look at my eye go now! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <I did burn. laughs> look at my eye go now! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I have two, Devil! Oh, look at all those worms. You like worms? Look how many I have! <laughs> oh my, I need a lot! I have so a place for them to live all made outside. Well, I have one! You got one? Whoa! 
Let me see yours, Gabe. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Ooh! Let's jump them into the box? I have a place made for them outside to live in. And we can feed them our table scraps and our food and they'll eat it. Ah, oh, like you see. And then they'll poop out their poop and it's called worms castings and we put it on the garden and it makes things grow really well. Okay. Hey, jump in, jump on them out. Well, okay, my helpers are excited about putting the worms in the worm pit. Yeah. Can I put that? May I pick at me in? Did you have that worm in your pocket, Gabe? Did you have it in your pocket? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, you want to put it in its new home? Yeah. Okay, you can pour them in there, Michelle. Oh, you want to get over the fence? Yeah. Okay. You want to get over there too, Bubba? Here they go. There go the worms into their new home. Yay! Can we stay out here for you? Yeah, you can watch them. They're going to want to burrow down to get away from the light. They're going to want to burrow down into that. See, I put some leaves and yard waste and kitchen waste in there for them to eat. They're going to be happy to eat. Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay, I also prepared a bucket that we can put in the house for the worms. So I'm going to put some worms in the bucket too. You want to put some worms in the bucket for me, Michelle? That we can, yeah, we can put that bucket in the house for the worms to eat. Go ahead and grab a handful and put them in there. I got a handful. Yeah, that's plenty. All right. Then we can put them in there and see if they do better in the house or better outside. I'm going to put this lid on. which it has a rubber seal in there. It's a food grade bucket, which I got at Lowe's. And then I'm gonna cut a circle out so we don't have to open it and so they can get air and uh, put that in the house. Seem like a good idea? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, okay, I have all do that. I just have all do that. Okay, so the worms went down in, and uh, the instruction said that it's good to leave a light on the on the top side so that they will go down in. So I don't need to worry about getting a lid for a few days. I guess I'll get like a garbage can lid or make something out of wood or metal or something. So they look like they're burrowing down in. Oh no, there they are. They're still pretty much in a little mass, but. They should be burrowing down in. They should be happy in there. I got peat moss and leaves and everything for them. <laughs>